Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this has probably been the most highly requested video of all time. I'm going to be walking you all through the entire process, the backdrop, the lighting, the setup, how I film, tips, tricks, all of that fun stuff and how you can also apply my tips, my tricks to your own content as well. So if you guys are interested, if you want to level up your game on Instagram and maybe even on YouTube as well, then definitely do keep on watching. And I think what I'm going to do now is to break this series into sections because I can't really show you how I film my entire video, my entire Instagram video in one video because there's so many details that I put into consideration when I'm filming which is why I currently have a course on how I film my Instagram video. If you guys want to check that out, do check it out. I'll leave the link right here as well. I'm going to be walking you guys through the entire process and how you can maybe even use what you have and still make it work and still make it look amazing. So the first thing I want to talk about is a background. Specifically for me, when I am filming my YouTube videos like this, I like to use like uh, an environmental scene. I like to create sets. I like to play around with what I have in my house, in my kitchen, in my living room, in my room, in my studio. I make it work irrespective. For my backgrounds, I like to have like this environmental lifestyle scenes for like um, YouTube content, fashion content, beauty content. However, for my Instagram videos, I prefer to have a plain color, a plain background, nothing too distracting beyond you're creating a one minute content you want all the focus to be on you or your attention to be on you so by limiting all of this blanking this out kind of gives you a huge edge because you know people are looking at me like what's happening behind it what's that what's what she doing no, no 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 you want the focus to be on you so for my instagram videos i usually shoot them over there so this is usually typically how i would film my instagram video i want a plain wall this just free from distraction this is the best way to go if you're starting off if you want a clean instagram feed if you have a theme that you want to stick to if you want something that is on budget as well all you need to do is to use either a white wall or hang a white fabric which is what i just did right now and the cool thing about it is that this is so budget friendly and it is space friendly as well you can use the wall by your bedside which is what i used to use for a couple of months when i started filming you can use the wall any wall that is free paste your material or whatever background fabric you're using you can play around with it use sequins you can use colored materials i'm going to be showing you guys you can use textured materials and just hang it there and just have a blast create your content and have fun with it now this is the wall that i use for my instagram it's a plain wall and i just make sure that it's as stretched out as possible if you guys want to see how I do this let me know down in the comment section so I can film like another background a backdrop video so I usually use this sometimes can you guys see how beautiful this is looking right now it's just giving my content like a step up um, I bought this background really cheap really affordable I think like 2k no more than 3k for like two yards so definitely feel free to play around with textures feel free to play around with fabrics shines whatever um chiffon silk anything to just give a feel and personality to your content so this is the pink one you can change it up oh i actually do really like this you can change it up to like a yellow a plain color like this all right, loves. So this is also a sequin sequence. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's not sequin or sequin. This is the fabric. And I haven't used this fabric in a while, but just looking at it, it is looking really good. So you can definitely, I got this for, I think 2000 Naira for two yards or one six, but it's, it's quite affordable. But this is what it looks like. You can definitely go on a budget, Forget about having the perfect set. Just use your wall, film by your bed. That's what I did when I started off, but you wouldn't know because <laughs> I did this. Literally, this thing behind me is less than 
three thousand naira, the hanging and the backdrops included. So yeah if you play around with it to get like the perfect set that you want but i'm going to be using this one just because it looks amazing something i love about sequin background is a backdrop is that it reflects the light so now my my space looks really bright and it looks really expensive because of the reflective um ness to it if i pull this up you would see this one gives like a matte view. can you see that this looks mattifying but this just adds a glow to me and to the en entire scene and it looks nice i can't tell it looks nice because i'm seeing it i love it so let's move on to another thing that i want to cover up in terms of filming an instagram video i would typically use like a pink background or whatever background i'm trying to achieve like a seamless theme so use whichever one you have or if you want that kind of youtube lifestyle scene do that just basically do you it's your account it's your profile it's your content it's your theme it's your ideas it's your head do you and create okay so now that i've covered up or well, i think i've tried to cover up um the background and just playing around with what you have another thing i want to talk about is the camera which is the main and the most important thing actually camera and the lighting and then your background these three things i want you guys to put it in your head write it down somewhere your camera your lighting and your background that's basically what makes up the entire content um the camera i'm using is the canon rebel t6i it's what i use what i've been using and what i'm still going to be using in creating my instagram and my youtube content as well is the canon rebel t6i as well as it's equivalent to the 750d if you're in the uk but i'll put it down in the description box my lenses i use two basic lenses when i'm filming for instagram but the one that i love using is the 50 mm lens this lens is perfect if you're doing like a beauty shot because you just want to focus on your head head shots so it crops it in let me show you guys what it looks like oof amazing right so this is the 50 mm lens you guys can see how up close it is to me i did not move my, my tripod or my camera it's in the same position i just changed my lenses the other lens i was using to film is a sigma 30 mm 1.4 lens this is the young no 50 mm 1.8 lens it's a dupe for the canon nifty 50 which is the 50 mm 1.8 lens that one retails for about 100 and something dollars this one only retails for like $40. It's like one third the price of that. And the quality is amazing. And I got this because I was starting off and I wanted to save cost, but still give out quality content. And it does that. I'm still using it. It still does amazing and amazing job as you guys can see. I'm telling you and I'm showing you as well. But this is the lens that I'm using. Um, definitely if you want something better i don't know what the canon nifty 50 looks like but i want to assume it's a bit like this maybe even better in terms of quality but you still get the same output or something quite similar to that so with instagram i want like this head shot and i want it to just be focused on that i don't want anything more than that because it's just too much information i want you guys to focus on my face my eyes my face okay my lips everything that i'm doing and i want that focus to be drawn in comment down below if you're enjoying this video comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking about this if you guys feel like this series is going to be beneficial to you i love sharing my tips and tricks if you guys are not following me yet follow me on instagram i share all of my tips and tricks on my insta stories almost daily but as frequent as i can but this is what it's looking like now this again is my setup and that's the camera and the lenses that i use this lens to be more precise let me just switch it back up so you guys can see the difference and we can just continue with this entire video okay, guys. so not to confuse you can definitely use the same set for your instagram and your youtube just i'm here to show you the affordable ways to kill it on a budget as usual but yeah i've talked about my lens my camera now i want to talk about my lighting what my lighting looks like Now, typically, if you're starting off, the best thing I would advise you to do is to use natural lighting, guys. If you have a window in front of you, please, 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 please use it. Use that natural lighting. All what I'm doing right now is to try and imitate that natural lighting that comes from the sun and it's so beautiful. But the good thing about artificial lighting is that you can have like a seamless control over the entire scenario. For my artificial lighting, I can film anytime I want. I want to show you guys what my setup looks like. 
I feel like I'm talking too fast. This is what my setup looks like. This is a softbox, LED light, ring light. I typically use um, two softboxes, one ring light, right? Then I have two LED. So I have my LED, my LED with this diffusing panel right here, and my two softboxes, my ring light, my camera as well. And I have also another LED light right here. <laughs> This is it. Everything will be um, in the description. And I use this for my face because it gives me like a soft, um, beautiful glow that I love. This is what it looks like without light. This is what it looks like without the light. Can we see the little difference? And with this, I can get a bit of a glow. Can we see that? It has like a glass glow to it. Let me put it up again so we can actually see the difference. This is it. We can get like that glass, seamless, almost flawless skin look and without it my face looks dull and yeah it's still okay but i like using this that's typically what my setup looks like so i don't know if you guys have been following me but if you do or if you've not been following me then you better do now follow me on instagram i share with you my taste and tricks this is a cake pan don't ask me why i'm using this i want you to try it out to the back yeah yeah yeah, it's kind of ghetto, but it does the job. It helps in reflecting the light and it's just when I tell you this thing makes your face glow It does make your face look. Can we see? I don't know if you guys can see how it is bouncing the light with the cake pan It just adds a little bit of soft glow to my face and if you're doing beauty videos You can do that. Another option is to use oopsie, <laughs> a Reflector panel. This is the one that I use. I actually have three of these don't ask me why but um i'm obsessed with lighting when i say i'm obsessed like i dream i sleep i eat lighting and how to perfect beauty lighting this is what i use sometimes and just because this thing takes up a whole lot of space i try to avoid it and use my cake pan but this is what it looks like can you guys see like my face looks golden already it just bounces that light and it makes my my entire face or your entire face glow you can use this golden side or you can use the silver side whichever one you um want but just so because i don't like a lot of things going on i just stick to my cake pan and it does the same job can you see how my face is looking like it is flawless <laughs> no it's not but that is it for that okay guys so let's talk about filming which is my favorite part and I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do before I start filming. So before I start filming, I connect my DSLR camera to my money. Do I have a video on that? It's the most detailed video according to some of you guys because you guys have been blowing my mind telling me that it's the most detailed video on YouTube on how to connect your DSLR camera to your monitor or your um sorry your laptop okay so this is how i film if you're starting off if you are a one man one woman production and you don't have anyone helping you or you don't have anyone to help you the best thing i would advise you to do is to connect your dslr camera to your laptop that way you have a live view of the entire process you can manually control your camera using your laptop i'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like if you guys want to know how to do that i'll leave the link to that video over here so you just click and watch it and learn from it as well all right so this is what it looks like right now my dslr camera is over there hey guys and this is what my monitor looks like i typically would connect it using this hdmi using this cord right here to my laptop don't worry guys i'll leave the link over here so you can watch the video but this is what it looks like you guys can see that everything i'm talking about now and acting is what you guys are seeing so you can control it you can control everything literally this is your camera on your laptop so it just makes the entire process easy and more streamlined for you if you're not going to be moving up and down if you're staying in one position what i would advise you to do is to tilt your camera uh this way <laughs> so that way you have more pixels to work with when you are editing as well however if you want to repurpose your content to youtube and instagram just use this normal um landscape mode i'm going to be showing you guys what the portrait looks like as well let me just do that now and i hope that this doesn't I'm just going to if your camera if your tripod does this this is going to be how you want to do it because of the 
mode that Instagram is. Instagram has a portrait mode. Let me just lock this in now. Okay, so this is how I would typically film my Instagram video. This way, when you're editing, you only have to crop out this part and you get a lot of details and pixels. Interviewing for Instagram, that's your Instagram stories, your IGTV, your Instagram feed. Use this format, it's gonna give you more quality so that way you don't have to expand or stretch out the video to fit in that note. This way you're already creating for Instagram. If you wanna repurpose your content, just flip it back and go back to landscape mode. Just so you guys can see what it would look like when I'm filming with the 50mm lens, this is what it's gonna look like, this is how close it is gonna be. Okay, so now I want to share with you some tips when it comes to filming for Instagram. The first tip I want to share with you is to make it as short as possible. So when you're filming your Instagram videos, you want to film it by the second. You don't want to have it run through. So you want to make sure you shoot or you film short clips of the entire process. So you can do five seconds blending out the eyeshadow. Pause it or stop it, go back, finish it, complete it, come back, do another two seconds, three seconds, apply the lipstick. That way you don't have three hours worth of footage or videos or clips to edit. You want to show key details, you don't want it to be too much and too overwhelming when you're editing. So try as much as possible to shoot short clips instead of long form clips and that is if you're only filming for instagram if you want to repurpose it for youtube as well then go ahead and film long form clips as well and yeah make it work and another tip that i want to share with you is something that i feel makes the entire process really personal and more engaging is to make sure you are looking into the lens you want to make sure that you have that contact eye contact or how i like to call it a lens contact <laughs> make sure you're giving that eye contact as much as possible even if it's like right there do your eyebrows make sure you look into the lens as much as possible and it just makes it it makes you connect more i guess yeah and my last tip is to have fun it's never i saw that it's not it's not so serious just have fun with the entire process um just don't be don't overthink it just let your personality come through that's when people really connect with you because you're unique and they're looking for that thing that makes you different and makes you relatable so when you are being real and you're just having fun and doing what you're doing it's it makes you it humanizes you i guess and it makes you relatable to people so have fun have fun with your creating process. Don't be scared to make mistakes. You know, it's never nothing like perfect. Your mistakes is what will make it perfect. Have fun with it. And that's my most important tip is to have fun with it because it shows in the camera as well. So have fun with it. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is transition. Um, editing is what brings everything together, but transition makes sure that everything flows. I'm gonna show you guys some of my work so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, you want to make sure it flows and I feel like transitions is another topic on its own because not something like I can really talk about. If not, this video would be like one hour, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, when you're showing our product, especially if you're creating content, wow, there goes my lipstick. Detailing is also very key for me. Don't just do this and do that. I see a lot of people do that and I'm like, <gasps> you shouldn't have just done that because you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is being reflected on and people can see that so if you're doing this you know take out the time to wait for it to focus and i don't know why you're wasting time to focus yeah 
when it gets that you want that detail to show for a couple of seconds and then take it out don't be in a hurry the key is to show the details and detailing is very important especially if you're creating content and you want to work with brands and yeah just use that be detailed with everything be detailed with your entire process as well and make it work at the same time don't be in a hurry just have fun with it so for transitions, what I would advise you to do is to make sure that your previous clips synchronize it with your, the next one and make sure that everything flows and it tells a story. Make sure your content tells a story. It's never, it's never like the story could just be drawing your brows, but you want to take them on that brow drawing journey on how you carve it, how you highlight it, how you feather it out. It's always a story, no matter how small or insignificant you think it is there's always a story behind every content that is effective there's all there should always be a story behind every content even if it's a picture there's always a story and make sure you share that story as effective as possible with other people if you guys enjoyed this video as always give me a thumbs up like this video share comment down below what other area you would like me to focus on lighting lenses backgrounds um, transitions let me know i'm more than happy to do that and even be more detailed as possible as i can still filming in my backdrop i'm loving it that is it for that if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below engage with me let me know if you have a space to work with do you have a wall to work with if you have a wall to work with then what are you waiting for if you're filming with your camera if you're filming with your mobile phone maybe i'll have another video on that and i would film another entire video using just my camera phone and then show you guys how to do that if you guys would like that idea you guys buy that idea if you guys want me to do that well i would be more than happy to do that because why not it's fun it's sharing and it's just helping as well so my lips are still looking weird i feel like it's just a weird color on my lips i don't know but that is it i hope you guys learned something i will leave a poll here so you guys can select what other video or what video you'd like me to do next if you guys enjoyed this one so yeah um that is it for that i will definitely see you guys in my next video till then stay fab stay blessed good night goodbye good morning hiya i don't know what that was but till then stay fab stay blessed bye guys